So Zany J here. Today I want to talk about something that's very it's very important. It's a serious matter. It's about, you know, this is always a serious matter, but it's about salvation through Jesus Christ and you know life at near death experiences that people say they've had. I've been looking at a lot of near death experience videos lately. And a lot of people, a lot of Christians are getting upset on these videos. You know, they're saying, they're, they're talking about, you know, this is true, this is what I believe, that Jesus is the only way to be right with God. He says, I'm the way, I'm the truth, I'm the life, no man can come unto God except through me. Is Jesus is the only name under heaven by which man can be saved. And I believe this is true. I believe in what Jesus did. I believe in Jesus. And But these people are saying, well, this can't be real because this person's an atheist or an agnostic, and they went, they say, "Oh, I died and I went to heaven. I met Jesus. I met God. You know, and I came back." Well, no, they, they should. They're supposed to have gone straight to hell. Well, you know, God is infinite mercy, and it's written. You know, who can understand His ways? Who is wise enough to give Him counsel? Okay, God. Is not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Let's think about this, folks. God is going to do whatever he has to until it's that person's actual time to go in order to lead them to Jesus. I mean, these people, these atheists and these agnostics, have heard the message of salvation through Jesus Christ over and over and over again, and they've just been like, you know, and so these experiences, this is no coincidence that this hap these things happen to these particular people, and that they left their bodies, and they actually met Jesus, you know, and then they were allowed to come back instead of being taken because of God's mercy. But now those people, they believe in God now. They believe that there is Jesus and God. So I see what God is doing here. He's showing these people stuff that they're not believing in, and it's like, now, are you going to believe? You better rethink this. You know, you say you say you don't believe. You know, I'm giving you another opportunity here. I exist. Jesus exists. Heaven exists. Hell exists. All this stuff is real. So you better, better, you know, think about that. You know. That's, that's my takeaway on those types of stories, you know? And there's, it's just, I mean, so many people are missing that aspect of it. These videos are like, oh, this is fake because this is this and this is, you know, it's like I said, you know, God, His ways are beyond our understanding. God is not willing that any should perish at all, but that all should come to repentance. And it doesn't say how He's going to go about leading people to Jesus. He may... Like I said, this stuff, these things happen to people that aren't Christians and aren't believers in God. And they come back and now, I know now that God is real. That Jesus is real. And it changes them. And they they go to, they end up accepting Jesus and believing in Him because of what happened. So that, that they will have that every opportunity before it really is, their, their number really is up, and God's like, okay, so your number is actually up, no more chances. So, all I'm saying is, I'm not God, none of us are God, he knows what he's doing. I said, his methods are past finding out. Alright, so, <laughs> y'all y'all think what you want to think, you know, believe what you want to believe, that's just, this is just my take on it. Okay. Thank you for your time. Thanks, thanks for, for listening to the video. And as always, stay blessed, stay safe, stay healthy, stay at peace, love each other. That's what Christ commanded. Jesus is the only way. Period. Like I said, God has his ways of leading people to Jesus. Y'all have a great day.